year, we will show you different project things that we create as a STEM to help us as a student in, in, in order to be creative and innovative. Also, we make this different project that help us. We produce different project that help the society. For example, we we create electric project that help to produce electricity, which helps the society in different things. My name is Farhad Omar. I'm a student from Midland Secondary School. I'm here to show you the device we used to convert DC current to AC current. A DC current is a normal current that we use in our daily activities. And a C current is a, is a current which has higher voltage than our normal current. Our device is made up of an inverter. We have an inverter here, we have a transistor, we have a switch, and also we have a wire with that, which we can get as a source of current. And also we have a terminal here, and we have a DC battery. So how our device work? We connect positive terminals to our battery and, and negative terminals to our battery. Then we switch on on this device. So this show that when when the switch was off, the current flow from from low voltage to higher voltage. It is about the 300 volt. That is a current, that is a normal current that we use. We just switch on from this source of current and we connect. That is a normal current that we use. So when we take this wire and connect to this one and then switch on, on the bulb, so we will see that the, the light increase. It means that the voltage of the current is increased. Okay. We have a mathematic device. This we make this so as to help the student to study hard. So, because many students in secondary school have not liked to study mathematics, we construct this so as to give students motivation to study this subject. Here we have a formula and their solution. For example, when we start the tan theta, we find the solution. If the solution is right, the light is light on. We start here. This is not correct, not correct, not correct, not correct, not correct. This is correct. This is the textile industries, and the aim of creating this textile industries is to show the pollution that we get from this industry. So, the first pollution that we get from this industry is noise pollution. As we know that the, when the manufacturing goods, there are some noise that are unprepared that, re, that, are, that resulted from this industry. So this can affect the workers that their work is to manufacturing goods and others people around here. So that is the noise pollution. So another, another pollution is air pollution. Air pollution is as a result of when the manufacturing goods there are some soot that is being produced that are from here. So when the soots are released from the air, these include sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and carbon dioxide. So when, the, when the, these harmful gases are released from, to the air, this, this can cause the global warming. And the global warming is as a result of the accumulation of these harmful gases, and this is this result the air pollution and it can affect the people around this industry. So another pollution is <clears throat> water pollution. Water pollution is a result of when the manufacturing goods, when manufacturing goods, there are some liquids that are harmful that can be released from the pipes. As we see the pipes here, this <clears throat> indicates the liquids that are harmful that are produced from this industry. So when these pipes are connected up to the air, up to the water sources, water catchments, this can cause the aquatic organisms to be affected by these harmful liquids. So even the, <clears throat> even the soil can be affected because as we know that this liquid, it can be released to the soils, the soil can be unfertile. So this can 
affect the agricultural practices that are being practiced around this industry. So that's all. And the protection, the protects yeah, that we can protect our environments from these industries by creating this industry for the segments of people. For example, these industries we say that produce harmful liquids when they connected to the water catchment can, can affect the aquatic organisms. So when this industry is being constructed far away from the settlement of people and far away from the water catchment, this can help to reduce this pollution. That's, that's all.